Yo, what is up everyone? Welcome back to the videos. My name is Matt and today I'm going to be doing a part two of the Comlight adapter video that I did a couple months ago. Now when I did that video, I kind of realized that I didn't provide any test footage whatsoever when I gave you the review. I kind of just showed you some images and some video of the setup that I was using with the adapter and I kind of figured that's not super helpful when you're trying to figure out exactly, you know, what, what, what it would look like if you use it on your camera using the adapter. So today's video is mainly just going to be showing you test footage or just sample footage. I have about a little bit over a minute's worth of footage that I took yesterday while I was out at the lake and it's kind of a compilation of some wide landscape shots, some more tight detail shots, some sun flares, uh, different textures and colors, uh, different tones and temperatures as well just so you can kind of see um, what you might be able to get out of the adapter and maybe some things that you do or do not like about the adapter. Before I show you the footage though, I just wanted to kind of break down what the entire setup would be uh, that's surrounding the adapter itself. So uh, the camera is going to be the Olympus EM1 Mark II and that's gonna be shooting at the Cinema 4K setting. So that is the highest video quality that you can get out of any uh, Olympus camera currently. And then the lens that's going to be attached to the adapter is the Sigma 18-35 f1.8. And then on the front of that lens is going to be a Gobi 32 layer variable neutral density filter. So uh, if you're wanting a reference point right now, this is actually kind of the same setup minus the filter. And there, there is, uh, this is not the, the Cinema 4K. This is just their standard 4K. So it's not a true 4K. Uh, but this is what it would look like if you were not using a true 4k kind of look to it So the majority of this video is actually just going to be the exact setup that you're going to be seeing in the test footage Which is which is kind of nice. Um, like I said, I try to get as much uh, as varying as shots as possible uh, a lot of different um, uh, uses out of it. So doing some focus pulling, kind of doing some actual physical pushing and pulling, doing some sliding shots and things. Um, all this is handheld as well. So you can also see kind of how um, the adapter interacts if you have a camera, like an Olympus camera with in-body image stabilization or um, a Panasonic that has in-body image stabilization. So yeah, I hope you enjoy this. Uh, if you do, please leave a, uh, a like, thumbs up, uh, leave any comments if you have any questions, concerns, or anything like that. And always make sure to hit that subscribe button if you want to see uh, more videos that are coming up. Again, thank you all for watching. I hope you have a fantastic day. Roll that footage.